Hello then. Hi Jack. Hello. It's so Corina. nice to see you again. Nice here to see you again. It's been some years. I know. And you brought a revolutionary way of breathing mm. that will help people heal themselves. It's interesting because ultimately we're aiming to have people breathe naturally. Mm -hmm. But the, the method of getting there is somewhat revolutionary. And is it wrong to speak too fast and then you forget to breathe? Well, it's not wrong, but it's definitely damaging to the breathing. So what's the first technique? i will share this tip with you. How to be able to breathe properly while wanting to communicate mm. as fast and mm. as effectively as you can. Well, firstly, from what I hear, if you communicate slowly, people understand you and listen to you much more. All right. So that's one interesting point. Okay, point number one. The second thing is most people, before they start to speak, they open their mouth in preparation mm -hmm. and then they breathe in through the mouth they inhale through the mouth mm -hmm. and then they speak. That's not good. Well, it's a mistake. So sinusitis and rhinitis, rhinitis and asthma and allergies and sleep disorders, sleep apnea and anxiety disorders, they all get addressed very quickly using this method in a more aggressive sense. Mm -hmm. But the more passive background way of practicing this method is extremely preventative. And in the long term, many systems of the body will adjust when they have enough of a chemical called carbon dioxide. Mm. Carbon dioxide is an essential part of everything that's alive on this planet. Mm -hmm. It's a balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide. Right. Oxygen exists in the air as 20%. Carbon dioxide in the air is 0.035%. So it's okay. less than one tenth of a percent. All right. Our body needs 200 times that. Of so we don't get carbon dioxide. 200 di ca times of carbon dioxide. Yes, we need it to survive. All right. We don't get it from the air. So there's not we, enough in the we air. Get we get not at all. What do you call this technique and what are its origins? It's called the Buteco method of breathing reconditioning or Buteco's method. And Buteco was a Russian scientist and medical doctor who happened to notice that dying people start to breathe very deeply before they die. I know, I saw that You've in my seen mother it? and father. Absolutely. Yes. And he thought that's very strange. And he discovered an aspect of, respite, of physiology that he never noticed as a medical student. And that was that there's a norm for breathing. And the norm for breathing is about a lung full of air per minute, about three to five liters per minute. Per minute? When you're at rest. Which means you're breathing very, very, very little. True. And the moment you breathe more than that, you're already hyperventilating. Mm -hmm. So you have to breathe more to exercise. But if you need to use your mouth, you're breathing too much more. And once you learn to use your nose for exercise, ah, everything works better. The basic rules about breathing are in and out through the nose. Okay, rule, step number one. Breathe in and out through the nose. Correct. Right? Okay. Gently. How do we do it gently? Without making big noise, without <laughs> lifting the chest. By relaxing the belly and letting the, letting the belly move. To so sit like this, legs apart. Oh, uh, quite nice to sit on the front of the chair, okay. so you're not using the back. Okay. And then just let legs apart, relaxed hips, belly dropped. And then you can place a hand on the chest and a hand on the belly and breathe very gently and softly and relaxing the shoulders and the chest and dropping the belly down. There should be no movement of the upper hand. The next interesting thing to do is to place a finger under here. Not too close but close enough that you can feel something here. from the from the air and you can relax your arm so you're not using all the muscles relax it down and what you're trying to feel is a very slight warm feeling Jack I'm so happy that you're back in Manila and that you're sharing your knowledge and wisdom with all of us it's my privilege to be here and to share it with the Filipino people uh, and I'm very happy to have the opportunity of sharing about it thank you very much for giving you some sharing. space yeah so do have a look at my website and come to one of my free lectures next week and we'll be there <laughs> great